Hi friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is percentage. As we know, percentage is one of the very important topic for any kind of exams like bank, SSC, railway, UPSC, CSAT, and placement trainings. In all the exams, questions will be asked from percentage. And percentage becomes one of the important topic. The reason is it will be asked in many other quantitative aptitude topic like data interpretation and profit and loss. So this kind of topics percentage will be definitely there. So let's understand and try to solve the questions here. I'll be telling you the tricks also with each and every question. So 30% of a number is 150. Then what is a number? So first we will solve it by normal method. So 30% of a number is equals to what? 150 and you have to calculate the number. So 30% percentage will be 1 by 100. So 100 will come down into that number is equal to 150. Now this 150, 30 will divide by 5 times and n will be equal to 500. So the number is what? 500 whose 30% is 150. Now this can be done directly also. So let's understand the trick. So 30% of a number is equal to 150. Now this 150 will divide by 30, it will go by 5 times. So 1% will be equal to 5 and 100% will be equal to what? 500 what I did I multiplied both the sides by 100 if I multiply both the sides by 100 we will be getting 100 percent is equals to 500 and this is our answer the same thing and they, they can ask if 40 percent of a number is equals to 160 then find out the number so see 40 percent is equals to 160 so 160 if you divide by 40 it will go by four times now multiply both side by 100 so 100 percent will be equal to 400 and the number will be what 400 so like this you can calculate the number if anything per in percentage is given so let's understand the question number two so let's understand question number two a is 120 and b is 180 and the question is a is what percentage of b and b is what percentage of a see i have seen generally students will get confused here that a should come up and b should come down or b should go up or a should come down so here the confusion is there so let's understand how we can do it easily so question is a is what percentage of b so you what you have to keep in mind with whomever it is getting compared that will come down see a is getting compared with what b so b will come down a will be up into 100 it is very simple a is what percentage of b a is getting compared with b so b you put it down a will be up into 100 now what is a a is 120 divided by 180 into 100 right okay now here Oh, you can divide 0 0 gone 6 into 2 6 into 3 so this will be 200 by 3 which will be equal to 66.67 percentage so a answer will be 66.67 percentage now if you'll see b b is what percentage of a so b is getting compared with whom a so send a down b will be up into 100 now b is what 180 a is what 120 into 100 right now 0 0 6 into 3 6 into 2 and 2 this will divide by 50 times so this will be what 150 percent so b is what percentage of a b is 150 percent of a right so this kind of questions now you can do it easily now the next question is what percentage of 7 is 84 see what percentage of 7 is 84 so we can assume x percentage of 7 is equals to what 84 now x divide by 100 into 7 will be equal to 84 see this 84 if you we'll divide by 7 it will go by 12 times and the value of x will be what 12 into 100 that is nothing but 1200 so 1200 percent of 1200 percent of 7 will be equal to 84 and in this case my answers becomes what 1200 let's see one more question question number four is a very important question and this kind of questions will be generally asked in data interpretation when we have to calculate the percentage so let's understand and try to solve it here a is what percentage less than b see the value of a is 120 and the value of b is 180 what they're asking a is what percentage less than b so for some time you forget that there is a percentage so a is what value less than b so a is 60 less than b right and now they're asking you to calculate the percentage so a is getting compared with whom a is getting compared with b so b will come down so it will be 60 by 180 into 100 this is the solution of a and this will be three times and here we can write 33.33 percentage 
right okay then you see b b is what percentage more than a so for some time you forget there is a percentage so a is 120 and b is 180 so b is what value more than a so b is 60 more than a right okay now b is getting compared with whom b is getting compared with a so 60 divided by 120 into 100 this will be 1 by 2 into 100 and this will be 50% so answer for this question will be what 50% and for a will be 33.33 percent so this you have to understand this is very easy to understand see very simple a is what percentage less than b so percentage first you forget then a is what value less than b so a is 60 less than b and a they are comparing with b to so send b down so 60 divided by 180 because you have to calculate percentage so you multiply by 100 and you will be getting the answer so i hope you understood the question and the trick associated with that and the concept Thanks a lot for watching the video.